Hello everyone. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Scholar to search for articles, how to enable an email alert for new articles that may appear, and also how to set your preferences in Google Scholar so you can access the articles easily through the Boise State Library database. Now remember, you do also have a Boise State library. It's library.boisestate.edu. This is a great resource for you. You can search for everything or just simply articles and you'll need to sign in with your Bronco Web username and password but please use this excellent resource because you can find just about any article online full text and everything and it's free. So don't ever pay for online articles. Always use Boise State Albertson's library. You also have access to online help at the library. And believe me, reference librarians love to help people. They really, really do. So don't, don't feel shy. Ask them for help. But back to Google Scholar. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to set your preferences in Google Scholar so that you can easily access and find articles that are located at the Boise State Library. When you're at Google Scholar, which again is scholar.google.com, you're going to be signed into your Google account and you'll see this little cogwheel at the upper right hand side. You'll click that and you'll want to select Scholar Preferences. So you're going to look for library links. You just type in Boise State University and select Find Library. It will find the library for you and it'll also pull this open world cat so go ahead and select that too but select Boise State University, find it at Boise State and then make sure you click Save Preferences. Alright, we're back at Google Scholar. So I'm really interested this week in issues of digital divide and digital inequality and I want to search for articles about these issues. So I'm going to use quotation marks around my search items because if you don't know this, quotation marks will search for that exact phrase. If you didn't use the quotation marks, Google will just search for those separate words. So it's good to make sure you know how to structure your searches. So we'll go ahead and search right now for those terms digital divide and digital inequality. And as you can see, you'll probably recognize some of these authors and some of these articles from selected references I've provided you with for the readings this week. All right, so let's say I want to create an email alert. In other, in other words, I want Google Scholar to send me email updates of any new articles. So I'm going to select Create Email Alerts and I'll put in my email. You can show up to 20 results if you want. So you can always select that. And then you select Create Alert. The first time you create alerts, you will be required to go to your Gmail account and confirm the request. But that's only one time. Once you do that, then you'll be good to go and you'll be able to um, have your alerts sent to you. So that's all there is to it. Google Scholar allows you to quickly and easily search for terms. Let's go ahead and go back to that last search we were doing. And of course you can click the article, but then look over here. Since we adjusted our preferences, we can actually click Find It at Boise State. It will redirect to the Boise State Library database all you have to do is sign in with your Bronco Web username and password and you can locate that article for free at Boise State University. So I hope this brief tutorial on how to use Google Scholar, how to set your preferences, remember it's over here, this little cogwheel, how to set your Scholar preferences to make sure that Find It at Boise State appears, and how to set up an email alert on your research will help you stay on top of the research in the area that you're interested in. And for the next three weeks, we're going to be very interested in issues of digital divide and digital inequality. Thanks for viewing.